Now, no one knows when tragedy will strike. A code blue was issued on the scene for victims involved in the Louisville shooting. The victims were taken to the Winston Medical Center. While hospital staff can't predict what will walk through their door in the emergency room, those departments are trained to be ready for situations like this. Our Keely Shields went to the hospital today where the victims were taken, and she joins us in the studio for that part of the story. Keely. When six people are taken to the hospital at one time with gunshot wounds, you can expect that it's going to be a chaotic scene. These life and death situations call for the entire hospital staff to be operating at its best. Tragedies, both man-made and natural, are going to happen at some point. While healthcare professionals are used to handling emergency situations, having a multitude of patients flowing in all at once can cause a strain on the hospital. We have various codes that we, we go through when, when we train for various events. We kind of do some things every once in a while, all, all during the year, to be ready for when there is there are, there are specific events to call. In high casualty situations, the most critical patients are treated and transported first. The Winston Medical Center dispatched three ambulances to the scene, the most they have ever sent in one place at one time. This is one of the trauma rooms where local EMS life care treated patients. Some were dispositioned to higher levels of care while others were released. Next, they had to call for a helicopter for some of the most critical patients. There's basically a hotline. If you've got that, you pick up the phone, you call that, call that particular number and tell them and they'll get the helicopters activated and headed this way. Circumstances like this can also add an overflow of uninjured people at the hospital. The biggest thing we had issues with was crowd control. I mean, I've had, I've had estimates anywhere from 75 to 150 people being on, on campus uh, that aren't normally on campus and having to control those, those individuals in, in that type of circumstance. Thanks to the assistance of various departments, only one person was asked to leave and they were able to maintain order. CEO Paul Black says his staff had a successful response quickly treating and transporting the patients. This whole situation was handled very well. Black says his staff is committed to caring for patients at the hospital and community.